This is the best holiday dessert ever. We're gonna add a stick and a half of butter, and now we're gonna add about a three-fourths or a cup of brown sugar, light brown sugar, and that's gonna melt down. And we're gonna mix that all in. As you can see, it's gonna start making this beautiful toffee. You want that butter to be melted and that sugar to be not in chunks, but powder. And what I do with that, what I do with that is I get a blender with the sugar and I just blend it up, right? So there's no more chunks. There's oh. no more big hard rocks. A uh, quick tip for that too is you can add a piece of uh, marshmallow into it so it can uh, absorb the moisture oh, that, yeah. or keeps the moisture into that mixture. So as you can see, we're gonna break this down a little bit more and more and more. Increase the heat a little bit, and this is going to make a beautiful toffee. And we're going to pour that over our Oreo mixture. Yeah, and it doesn't matter. It's just regular Oreo cookies, right? We're only using the the top of the Oreo cookie, oh, not using okay. the cream, because the Oreo cookie itself is a pretty bitter cookie. It's not too sweet, and you don't want this base to be too sweet. But the cookie adds a, a depth of flavor, right? It's a cookies and cream, a bitter cookie, and a creamy, creamy inside. Yeah, because. I don't know about you, but I am not a fan of all that white stuff on the Oreos. You don't like the white stuff, but that's because you're supposed to eat it together. But I love the white stuff, but we're going to do something else with it later. Okay. Well, in a different recipe. But at this one, as you can see, my toffee is being made. Look at that. Get close in here. As you can see, it's making a thick, rich toffee. So stick a half of butter, a cup of sugar, light brown sugar, and makes this really nice coffee and then we're gonna heat this up until it's like almost boiling yeah and it should be like a thick paste right yeah it's like a, a, a caramel oh, okay consistency of a caramel as you can see is you want that to get boiling hot so we're gonna wait a little bit till it starts boiling but look at that oh that's instant that's instant so that took less than two minutes to do it really sure you're doing it right as you see it starts to bubble 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 yeah a little bit more stir wow and that's basically toffee oh. or caramel for our recipe here. And we're gonna use that when it's really nice and hot. And this cools down pretty fast too. It cools down, it takes its time, but we want it bubbling hot. And we're gonna pour that over our Oreos. Yes. So you see it's bubbling. Move this to the side, look at the Oreos. Yes. I love Oreos. And you can use any type of, you know, crackers. Or any type of crackers you wanna use, right? So we got this Oreo. Look at that caramel. We're just gonna drizzle it side to side, so. I gotta see this. And we're gonna go in a circular pattern. And the most important part is the center. So you want the center to fill nice and even. Like that. Now we go to the edges. It doesn't need to be perfect. Remember, it's a Christmas dessert. Holiday desserts are supposed to be a little bit wild. So stick in half of butter. Oh, pour it all out in that recipe dish. Move this to the side. Ooh, now wow. we're gonna get our chocolate chips, semi sweet, not too sweet. Yes. We're gonna pour that up. Cause there's not a lot of sugar in this anyway. And so we're gonna evenly distribute it. Ooh. Perfect. And now we're gonna get a spat, and we're just gonna spread that around, and that chocolate's gonna start melting. Oh my God! I see it. All over. Yep. Oh. See that? And you kind of want it to evenly spread out around. So as you can see, the toffee's melting, the chocolate's melting. Yes. And you just want a thin coat of chocolate layering everything. And this chocolate will bring a nice little balance to your dish. Yeah, and it's not like too hard to mix or anything. It's not, it's just melting, dissolving right. That's why you want it to have that toffee hot coming yes. off the pan so you can do this chocolate step. And Look at it start to form. You want to start covering all the Oreos. Yes. And we're smearing it so it's nice and even. Bad boy smear. Look at that. So we're smearing it, smearing it. The toffee's going to the sides. Perfect. That chocolate melted really fast, actually. Yep. Look at that. Now we're going to layer it even because you, you want a perfect smear. Oh. And look at that guy. So that's a beautiful smear. As you can see, it's all done and dandy. Now, put this to the side. You won't need this batch anymore. What we're gonna do is add, that for later, we're gonna add some pretzels to it. Ooh, I love pretzels. 
And this is to counteract the sweetness of the of, of the sugar. Of the sugar, right? Yeah. So there's a lot of sugar in this, but we're gonna counteract it with the saltiness of the pretzel. Because the best desserts in the world are perfectly balanced. Yes, you don't want too sugary or too salty. Yes, so you want it to be just right. And you can play around with this, make your own design too. Make your own design, have fun with it. It's the holiday season. Everyone's is gonna look different. This is how I like to design my Christmas bark. So look at it. You just go around town here. Looks so cute. And we're just gonna go around town, have fun with it, you know. Cause this looks genuinely homemade, man. This it, is yeah, like... and that's what you're going for, right? Uh, all these other things are too done up. And it's the Christmas season, holiday spirit. So we're gonna add these pretzels. Holiday spirit means homey to me. Yeah. It gives me like my mom making this dessert for me or you know just that type of vibe look at that it doesn't need to look professional exactly it doesn't I'd, ra I'd rather have something that looks homemade than something from the store you know yes yes me too so we're just gonna pick around the spots make sure you press them in though you want these to be pressed in you don't want it to be falling off when you're yeah you want them embedded in the chocolate embedded into the chocolate and toffee uh -huh. look at that now I'm gonna add a few of these Hershey Kisses. Oh. And you could just gently, any chocolate. Any chocolate. Any. Any chocolate. We just add a little bit here and there. Just to make it festive. Make it festive. These are the peppermint Hershey chocolates. Yeah. Kisses. And just, they're just fun. You know, you don't wanna go too. You can add more, you can add a lot. But there's no need to add a lot because I have this peppermint white chocolate sauce that we're gonna drizzle on top of this bad boy. And that's what makes it very special. So, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I add a couple more if needed, but. Yeah, yeah, you, you can't have a holiday dessert without peppermint, right? Yep, so, boom. That's all good and dandy. Now, I have this melted Hershey Kisses and white chocolate. You're just gonna do this. Ooh. And roll it up like that. Kind of like a piping bag, see? Oh! And you want to cut a small tip, so I'll like push that out right there, and we're just gonna drizzle it. Oh, that really is a cherry on top, man. Look at that! Ooh. Now it's looking really festive, really fun, very pepperminty. Yes. Perfect. Now you can keep going. I'm just gonna add another zigzag going the other way. Yes. It's, you can never go wrong with, with too much chocolate, you know? Yeah, so we're just gonna make it fun, festive. And there we go. It's all good and dandy. The most important part is some sprinkles. So I have some of these. I'm gonna use these guys today. These little- um, Oh, I like those fat ones. Ooh. This is like one big old festive cookie, man. Yes, and when we we're gonna freeze this for uh, 40 minutes in the freezer, so. Yeah, that's not a long time, man. And then we're gonna add some little bit of these Christmas ones. Ooh, I love the little Christmas cheese and everything. Oh my God. And you guys can make this with your kids, your family. It's super fun to do for the holiday season. Boom. And there we have it, Christmas bark. Now we're gonna throw it in the freezer for 30 or 40 minutes. So just get the parts into it too. And watch this. So. Oh my God. Look at that, super easy. Use parchment paper. Now, what you can do is you can either break it or cut it up like a pizza. Ooh. Oh! So what should we do? Uh, I say let's cut it up like a pizza, man. Okay, so. Oh, that per that is so perfectly even. You know what I'm saying? And then we just set it like that, and then we'll cut yes. some slices here. Yes. Because that's all you need, man. All you need is a perfect slice. If you want to. Yes, if you want to. But this is Christmas bark, and I kind of messed up my slices, but... We're going for classy here. So here you go. Kind of like a pie. 
This one's kind of ugly, so I'm gonna take it out. Boom, boom, boom. This is holiday Christmas bark. Super easy and fun to make with Oreos as its base. The Oreo base is like perfect for this. Yes. Because it adds so much of that bitterness from that cocoa. And this is kind of thick too. It's like yeah. a nice bark. Chocolate on top. And this is you just have to break in half. So pretty much that's the recipe. I'm gonna take this perfect bite, but look at the base. Look how thick the chocolate, the toffee's on the bottom of this guy. Look at that. Toffee, chocolate on top. This is the best way to make Christmas bark. Oreo Christmas bark. Let's try it. It's buttery, but it's not too sweet because of the cocoa, the pretzel, the peppermint drizzle, a nice little sweetness to it. Ooh. Mm. This is the best holiday bark out there.